the Speaking of double entendres, no, welcome gonna... to room six. I'm gonna do the, the channel that oh I was gonna I was gonna buy into that whole thing. I was gonna do the whole intro. No, no? you don't want No. It's fine. I, I'm not needed here. Six, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me and this guy. Myself, my name is Sean. Hello and welcome to Room Six from wonderful Las Vegas, Nevada, here at Sunrise Pines. We also celebrate the bourbons and whiskeys that make music taste sound better. No, sometimes it's make it taste better. Oh. Right. Sometimes it helps make it go Sorry. down. Uh, welcome to the channel. Hello, Joshua. How are you today, sir? Unbelievable. Good. How about you? You know, uh, slightly less auspicious, I am fine. What are we drinking? We are drinking three things today. If I remember correctly, let me list them off to you in order so we make this correct. Bullet bourbon. We are doing JD, Jack Daniels Rye. And we are doing Jameson Irish IPA cask finished whiskey that is irish whiskey jameson irish finished in ipa casks now we're calling this basically an american this is a tour of america via outsourcing shall we call it why, why oh, is, that's good why is oh that's good please tell our viewers why is jameson ipa considered american because i'm considering whiskey. this in the american category because it's finished in ipa barrels ipa doesn't mean anything other than india pale ale india of course not being within the continental u.s however ipas are very popular amongst usa drinkers they sure are they sure are ding <laughs> so, okay um we're starting with the, the bullet Uh, 45% 90 proof. If I remember correctly, if memory serves, this is a glass little mini. So I assume it's 45%. That only goes to the bottler and not the maker. However, make lo and behold, 45% 90 proof. I am right. Once again, it's hard to be always correct, but I'll live up to the moniker. So, this is sourced from MGP. Sourced. Sourced, which means sourced. it's grabbed from another location, That's right. finished or aged somewhere else. Perfectly fine, perfectly suitable, perfectly natural, perfectly healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, faithful Room 6 viewers may remember that I have had Bullet Bourbon before with Minus. Card is up here somewhere. Uh, a lot of it. And we had a good time. But, didn't actually taste it and knows it and everything so i'm looking forward to this um one two three throw one two three shoot Dink. three out of five. Oh fuck you let's go quick <laughs> there's two there's two. That's how you do rapid fire, folks. Oh. You don't ask. You don't restart. So you just fast, keep going think, through. I was like, wait, did I win or lose? Nope. <laughs> that's the thing. It should be fast enough to be reflex and just shooting. Okay. So, uh, I toast first. You? To your health. May it always be better than your wealth. No, too, too late, terrible. and my wealth ain't that good. That's terrible. <laughs> right, let, me, let me back that up. Let's let's, let's change right. that up. May your health only be exceeded by your wealth. Oh, very nice. Much better. Or maybe the other way around. No, no. If I have enough wealth, I can buy health. Anybody that says anybody that says money can't buy happiness. Guess what? You're gonna be wrong every time you say that nonsense. 
Where do you go immediately off the nose? What are the oh. first things that jump out to you? Happy place. Why? What is there that's reminiscent that you like? Corn, sweetness, yep. well, syrupy. Like, hurry up, let's go. Come on, shoot. I don't have the nasal vernacular that you do, Mr. Cook. Um, no, I, I get a lot of... It's sweet corn a little bit. I get, um, you know, the baking spices of vanilla and cinnamon. I... I it Just from the legs, I can see there's some high oil content, so it'll be a little burny maybe, but... That also comes from the 45% mm -hmm. content, but what I'm getting out of it a is a little citrus. bit that orange bitters. Yeah, I was going to say not orange sweet. bitters because it's citrus. balanced. It's citrus, Jeez. but it's a little burnt. There's yeah. some of that charred quality. Right. It's burnt citrus for a purpose. Not yeah, just... and I'm getting the medicinal cherry note, but not in the medicinal sense. Just like an oversaturation of cherries. Like too many cherries in a good old fashioned. But for me, I like too many cherries. It's a it's a good reminiscent build and a great marker to a foundation of an old fashioned for me. Brown sugar, dark molasses, little syrupy mm. thing going on there. Definitely dark molasses, not light uh, light molasses. Dark burn sugar, not burnt sugar, but like browned, over caramelized not, sugar. I was gonna say not caramel so much, but, but like. Over caramelized, like overcooked. Yeah. Like, uh, incidentally, singed, singed. Yeah. Creme brulee. Inc incidentally, feel free to leave in the comments have you had any expo experience with Bullet, with Jack uh, Daniel's Rye, or with the Irish uh, Jameson IPA? Have you tried the Bullet Bourbon, mm -hmm. the Jack Daniel's Rye? Have you tried the Jameson Irish Castmates IPA edition? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Also, if you're trying the bullet bourbon, what's the expression of bullet that you've enjoyed the most? I really like the 10 year more than the rye mullet, more than the, the bourbon. The 10 year is a nice, solid, well constructed, little overpriced for age statement whiskey, but it's great in cocktails and it's got a little extra ABV to kind of stand up to that watering down portion of making a cocktail. No, I have not had the 10-year myself. I've only had the... We'll do the 10-year. The regular. We'll do the 10-year. Cool. I like the 10-year. It's, it's nice. It's, a, it's better than the bourbon. It's better than the rye, but it's all the best parts of both with none of the bad parts. And there's honesty for you. You get black cherry though? Yeah. Black cherry, but not in a medicinal way. Like an oversaturation no, of too many it's maraschino just there. It's Yeah, like, yeah. Shall we? Or Luxardos. All right. Diving in. Yep, that's exactly what I remember. There's just a hint of that black licorice note that I don't like. But it's enough to push me out until I sit in it. It's kind of like, right. a, like a jacuzzi. I like keep it's a little hot, little hot, little hot, little hot. I keep coming um, back to the citrus. The yeah, but it's not like blood orange. A cloying. It's not like well, like like right. on the nose. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah. This has character. It has levels, which yeah. is so nice compared to certain other things we've had recently. <laughs> Are you talking about the uh, the Jim Beam video? Yes. Mm. Look up here or look up there. You want to see and, a sucker? And, and just, I know we say comment on it, but if you comment on it, we have to revisit it. And if we have to revisit it, we have to relive it. And I would rather not do that. <laughs> <laughs> just just comment on this one down below. Mm. <laughs> this is a much better video already. No, Any comments are welcome. Oh. Um, yeah, this puts me in a nice, happy place. I'm okay with it. It's yeah. it's something I would want to put up to something. I would want to put it in a cocktail. I would want to mix it with some tea. Oh, yeah, it will make a I cocktail don't, interesting. By, it, by itself is fine, but this is definitely one of those expressions I want on the rocks. I almost feel like it's wasted by itself, which is weird. Not wasted, but you know, like it's, you could be part of a team, buddy. Right. Right, it's almost under, it's like under you. Imagine Steve Perry singing by himself instead of the journey. Steve Perry singing karaoke. <laughs> right? Instead of a band. No, you know, I take that back. That's Steve, because Steve Perry could pull it off. Imagine. That's true. 
Imagine Steven Tyler singing by himself instead of with Errol Smith. You're like, no, bud. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh. Well, it, yeah, it, I like it, but I think I'd like it better with uh, some buddies. Some, some it's fine. It's... It's fine. Yep. On the finish, it's it seems to just ride a little bit of that citrus. But what I appreciate about the uh, what I appreciate about the de-escalation is mm-hmm. it's gentle. It's I not, was just gonna it say, doesn't drop off super quick and is watered yeah, down. So, sometimes, especially like a gulp, that was a nice gulp. That was like that was a nice finish. And it was just yeah. If I had had a lovely meal and finished with that, I'd be I'd be a happy boy. I would be okay with having bullet bourbon with a meal. It's something that's high enough proof that it can stand mm-hmm. up to a good steak, heavily seasoned, lots or of butter, lots of vegetables, some, or something. Contrast. It can stand yeah. up to contrast. Yeah, when you're, especially if your food isn't as exciting. This <laughs> when it's by itself, you notice you notice <laughs> notice all those harsh edges. That's a fucking hard sentence to say, regardless. When you drink it by yourself, you notice all the hard edges. And all the harsh idiosyncrasies that it has. Better, I, uh, better eloquated word. So <laughs> a word, all the words. You, you excelled at that word. Did I Microsoft did it? No. No, um, I can micro hard at it. Wow. Microsoft so joke. There you go. Moving on. <laughs> Very slowly through these tedious dad jokes. Yes. While he downs his last little bit. Just want to take a moment to say, uh, if you're not a patron already on Patreon, link is in the description. We're going to be having some uh, patron-only content coming up here in the future and uh, kind of revisiting things a little bit differently. Um, So definitely, definitely uh, subscribe and feel free to join in as a patron. Uh, If you really want to support the channel, room6.shop, you can get some cool merch. Uh, Let's drink! Let's move on to round number two. Yes. Round number two is going to be much more substantial, much more substantiated, and a lot more flavor. We are jumping into the Jack Daniels Rye Spice. Who knows? Okay. Did you not know where I was going with that? Because I knew the whole time. Oh, I knew. I, oh, I can see the bottles, man. I know. Yes, but keeping track and seeing the I bottles. I was at the pitch meeting, okay? I threw the pitch. That's why my arm still hurts. You're welcome. Terrible dad jokes. Oh, see, I, I live for them. What is your best worst <sighs> dad joke down below? I want to hear it. And if it's good, I want to start doing them on camera as our toasts. Can we toast dad jokes? We're going to toast dad jokes. You're Every saying, really good one. I'm going to pick one. Well, one or, this is me. I'm one or to two this. out of the comments. I'm supposed to be this guy. You're supposed to be like, oh god, no. Nope, this is me. Right on. Gurgle, gurgle. Pitter patter. Oh wait, that's for the Jameson. Uh, this is JD Rye. This is Jack Daniels Rye. Again, another 45%. Another 90 proof. But what I like about the rye is it stands up well to black tea and honey and agave nectar and all sugar and stuff you want to throw at it in a in a cocktail that is based around tea. This is the perfect for me. Yeah. Hot toddy whiskey. So compared to the bullet, it's not not as many levels, would you say? Not as many layers. Different levels. Different levels, different layers. Okay. This has more herbaceous spiciness to it. So when I so when I level it out with the agave nectar, when I level it out with the sugar, when I level it out with the black tea or the green tea, which is good, or the oolong tea, which you should definitely try if you like fruit flavored teas or Rubio's teas. It just has enough character, enough ABV, enough volume to stand up to being watered down, which is what we're doing when we add tea or when we add Coke or when we make it into a cocktail. We're watering it down. At 45%, it's still going to have some character left over. A little bite. Yeah, a little bite if it's a rye because rye has rye spice. It's got those right. black tea notes. It's got that cardamom and that little bit of clove maybe a touch of nutmeg i don't like noticing the clove but it's there it's fucking there it's always gonna be there 
This being said, it's a good rye. Compared to the bullet rye, it's different though. So maybe we should do a Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey versus bullet bourbon and then do a Jack Daniels rye versus a bullet rye and see where MGP compares AB to Jack Daniels, JD. I mean, I know, but uh, I, I feel like we could almost do it in Morse code. <laughs> Not acronyms, abbreviations. Abbreviations. Sorry, sorry grammar nerds. Uh, this is, like, I took a snoot and I immediately, I was like, hello. That's, it's different. That's different. It's sharper. But you're going to get a little bit more of that black licorice and cream note. Right. The problem is, for me, Jack Daniels doesn't have enough of the cream to balance it out. So it's a little sharp, a little herbaceous. Right. Like this with a Coke, you'd almost get a vanilla Coke kind of flavor out of it. Yeah. Not quite. This is a little green for that. Like a little vegetative, vegetal. Mm. Oh, please, your turn. Scintillated. May your palate be sensitive enough to detect vegetative qualities, but your mind never be soft enough to be a vegetable. That was strangely particular. <laughs> but to no one in particular. No one in particular. Nice. No one in particular. Well, definitely herbaceous and... Uh... You get honey in there? Yeah. You yeah. It sweetens it. That's why I want to throw the agave nectar in there. I thought this... I, I, With honey, you get a very particular, like... Yeah. Not what I was expecting, but not unpleasant. Not unpleasant. Not the worst thing I've ever had. Certainly not the worst thing I've had within the last month. Last 24 hours. No, um, last month. That... Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the green apple yeah. was not... The best. I enjoyed around. the bullet more because this burns more. This has more oil. So the ethanol content correlates to forty three percent versus forty five, which is two percent difference. But right. Wait, this is the forty five? Yeah. Oh, I thought the other one was four. okay. Yeah. There, so this is forty five. Because on the finish, this this definitely it, it 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 sticks around and not in a pleasant as as pleasant way as the bullet. J D Rye, forty five. Bullet Bourbon, 45. Oh, I thought, well, what was the 43? Jim Beam. Oh! 43. 2% okay. difference between Jim Beam and the stuff we're having tonight, today. Sorry. Oh, yeah. But 2% difference versus ethanol content. Mm -hmm. This feels more alcohol based. Yeah, this feels like, oh, this is going to mess me up. Whereas right. Jim Beam is more. Uh, I could settle into that. Give me a meal, you know, kind of. Mm. Yeah, I see what you, there's like almost creamy, almost vanilla. -y. If you look for it. Yeah, like I, I get a creamy kind of mouthfeel, but then all of a sudden there's burning. And with the creamy mouthfeel, sometimes that comes from the oil content. This like, makes me want to sing the blues. <laughs> this makes me, this feels like it's going to give me the voice, you know. That's that's because this is what you drink when you have colds <laughs> and you want to get rid of a crap. Place. I thought that was Jägermeister. <laughs> I'm just disappointed now. I was I was in college many times. <laughs> many times. Mm. I've done three glasses, am I? Did you? I rinsed mine. These are the, this is the one you gave me. This is one of mine. Here you go. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Are you going to three clean? All right. Yeah. Cleanish. They get rinsed? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So last. Last we have the Jameson Caskmates IPA edition. I've had this before. IPA urine. Have you? I don't know. I think so, but if I did, it would have been... Five years or so ago, and I just remember seeing something that was, it was Jameson 
extra, like something extra. From what I remember, and I will go ahead and revisit my statements now. Jameson, relatively approachable Irish whiskey. This is very nice. The IPA to it, for me, added a little bit of IPA bitterness, a little bit of saltiness, and not a whole lot I enjoyed. This was several years ago. This is what I remember from that experience, and I'm willing to open my mind to other things than that. Let's see. I just took a snoot and I I didn't get all that. My my initial thought is gonna sound weird, was almost like the cream part of a creamsicle. I noticed the creamy quality. The cheap, soft vanilla in a little cup that you little shitty little, waffle cone. The little no no the little the little cup with a paper that lid you peel oh. off. That's a good one. That's a good throw. But and then it went away. To something a little bit more bitter, a little bit more. I don't know where that vanilla creamy thing came from, but what are you getting? What are you where are you at? I'm getting the exact same thing I talked about. I'm getting okay. young Jameson, regular Jameson, brittle, sharp edges, a little bit of contrast in the end of vanilla and not a whole lot of oakiness. But then you throw in the IPA, and then there's bitter. It's a little salty. It's a little savory. There's a little bit of that hoppy, citrusy quality. But what I miss from the Caskmates Stout Edition is that creaminess, that chocolatey coffiness that just rounds out all those brittle, sharp, over sugary, over caramelized essences. It makes it palatable. And this, this just kind of leans heavier into that. So I've got to approach it from a different context, but right now it's sharp and alive. And it doesn't smell like Irish whiskey. It no, like there's like a, there's so much wheat and grainy and like dusty, yeah. dustiness to it. Like corn, like there's a, there's a graininess. You ever, over, stick, you ever yeah. stick your nose? At, the, at a grocery store with a dry bulk bin, you ever, you ever open up when it's like and it just rolled deep. oats, yeah, and, and you're just like, ah, yes, I am in the fields or whatever. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that initial creaminess I was talking about when it's away super rope. quick, but it's there and it's creamy and an oaty, honey. It's very interesting that that was the first thing I got on an IPA whiskey. But it's a very subtle note. You know what? You know what it smells like? It smells like America. It smells like America got its hands on Irish whiskey. <laughs> it sounds like the Americans did to the Irish what the Americans have been doing to the Irish for years. Bummering them. Fucking them up. My turn. You just did your turn. No, you did. No. Yes. Did I did bullet. You, you, this is the third one. I did the first yes. one. You did the second. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You, got it. you got it. You got it. Your toast is obviously better than mine. No, I didn't say that at all. I did. All right. Here's to you, the viewers. Without whom, there's no point in doing this. And we would just be two lonely men drinking by ourselves. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be a lonely man drinking by myself. But you viewers also make it more enjoyable so how about you engage in the conversation comment down below let me know what your fit let me know let me know that's sean flew s-e-a-n spelled the right way hashtag s-e-a-n spelled the right way all right uh shall we if we must we must it's nice Oh, hello. That is a left turn from the Jack Daniels ride. I get, I get wheat, but it's like wheat and berries and cream, berries and cream, berries and cream. Mm. That's what I get, berries and cream. This may be my new favorite Irish whiskey. Like, 
As I, much as you like that, now I'm really intrigued for you to try the stout because I'm just. I think the stout's what I had before. A little more caramel, a little more caramel, a little more sugar, a little more cocoa, I mean, a little I mean, more brown sugar. It's just sweeter, more desserty. It, this is the this is definitely the savory version. The as much as there's cream, mm. it's kind of like taking salt and sprinkling it into your coffee, mm -hmm. and it just rounds out those little bitter edges. Or adding salt to adding salt to a dessert, and suddenly everything just tastes more. More. Yeah. You get all those not the edges. You get all the rounded oh. notes. Yeah. That's, you know. Yeah. When this is gonna sound really weird. Go. And the beautiful thing about <coughs> whiskeys and wines is that it's very subjective and that you may f get something totally different. No, it's not subjective at all. All taste, all scent is objective and you only taste one note. There are no other interpretations. I'm being entirely facetious <laughs> and sarcastic. I'm going to smack you. So the beautiful thing about that is I'm getting something he may not get at all, but what I got, and this is going to sound weird, room temperature, like it's cooled off, green tea. Yeah. Oh, so the, that was the vegetal quality that I was talking about. With the herbaceousness, yeah. But I got the, on the back end, all of a sudden I'm like, well, and, it and, tastes like I let my tea get cold. And here's the thing. <laughs> this is why... You A and B whiskeys, or you A, B, C whiskeys, or you A, B, C them the way out the door of consciousness. But you compare them, you contrast them, and you see what correlates to this whiskey at this time, or this whiskey. God, I, so I know. Like, it already tastes... I have, I have black tea. We can do that. We can do a hot toddy video. I I will I will make a hot toddy with the black tea that we have left. We should be sick. <laughs> if, we, if we have any, we don't. Never mind. No, the not. black tea video will come at a later time and we'll do hot toddies. Maybe next winter. Maybe next winter. But this is the first time I've tasted something where I really taste tea yeah. in the thing. Green tea. Pardon. Um, boy, that's... And the honey's, the honey's there, but it's like honey... Not, not honey itself. Honey flavored things, honey cough drops or whatever. Um, so what I'm hearing is you're getting a medicinal note in addition to the honey. No, I didn't mean cough okay. drops. I just it's the only thing. I could well, I know, but that's that's flavor. that's why I'm pushing your vocabulary right now. That's why I'm pushing your vernacular. Well, thank you very much for enhancing my vernacular with your loquacious elucidation. My loquacious attitude. No, your elucidation. And my my semi-permeable mm. state of mind. I do enjoy ruminating and conversating with you, yes. Conversing. No, conversating. No, conversing. Oh, if I'm going to be fancy with the words, I'm going to go for it. But we're not conversating, we're conversing. You see, this is no, why... No shit. This is why you can't get two intellectuals in a fucking room together in, t in front of a little tiny table. You should have seen us change a light bulb. I changed more than one of them. Don't oh, look at the light. To be fair, he held the ball in place. I spun the room around. You spin me right round, put me right round. Na, 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 na. And now we're copyright. And there <laughs> goes your monetization. What monetization? <laughs> Seriously, if you haven't subscribed by now, please just click the bell. Stay up to date. There's a lot of content. We're gonna be keep. We're yeah. going to keep pushing out media, keep pushing out videos. If Please follow all the accounts underneath. You've got TikTok. You've got Facebook. You've got YouTube. You've got Instagram. You've got Twitter. multiple accounts through all of those mediums. Not just me. This guy. Hi, guys. Actually. My name's Sean. I know I talk a lot. I don't talk a lot about myself. That's what I do during my video gaming hours. So if you want to see that, go to twitch.tv slash honor thy Tarkus. H-O-N-O-R-T-H-Y-T-A-R-K-U-S. There it is. Thank you very much right above my head. He also drums. I do a lot of drumming. I'm trying to do more drumming. I've got changes coming this year. 
and I'm trying not to disappear from social media, but I'm trying to stay involved and stay accentuated and stay purposeful. And I know a lot of you are trying to do that. So in all of this trying to stay purposeful stuff, how about you join the community and you join the Patreon? Mm -hmm. Patreon for Room 6 is at... Room 6, I'm sorry. Patreon.com forward slash Room 6. R-O-O-M, the number 6. Click the mundo. And also just click the link in the description. It's from my link tree and all the stuff is there. And just click a button. Um, I'm just excited about what's coming in the future for patrons. I'm excited too. I'm just trying to enjoy the moment. I'm trying to live vicariously through somebody else who's excited instead of being excitable all the time. Getting back to whiskey. Getting back to whiskey. We have a couple more videos to do before or after this. Are they going to come before this? Well, they're going to be after. I'm I'm just going to do them sequential sequential in the order. Oh, okay. Okay. So, all right. Just so you know, uh, there's no driving going on tonight. We're doing, shooting a few of these videos and they're back to back. There's no driving going on because my alternator Wait, what? wrapped out. We're shooting videos back to back? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Guys, if I'm wearing a different shirt, comment down below to let me know what shirt I'm wearing because I don't know what order everything's going to happen in. <laughs> I'm just trying to write it through like you guys. So tag me down below, ah. engage in the discussion. Let me know what shirt I'm wearing. And the Oscar goes to... Jurassic Park Day sucks. So... <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I, I just want to say I'm so glad we finished with the uh, Jameson IPA because it's it's just like again. Like, Has it been looming over you? My mouth feels warm. Like my mouth feels warm and coated in a good way. Shut up. And with that, giving you your thumbnail. Yes. If you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it does make a difference. Please click down here and don't forget to ring the bell. If you want to support the channel, there's always room6.shop for some awesome merch that does support the local Las Vegas music scene. The whiskey that makes it better, the people that talk about it, and the people that talk about it while drinking the whiskey, that makes it better. He's been Joshua Courtright. I've been Sean Flume, Sean Flam. I hope you stay wonderful and wonderful to other people. Enjoy the rest of your day. Remember, be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. So loud. Every time? Every time. Consistency is key.